Oh, lesson 50, here we come. All right, this is gonna be awesome. After the depth today, 50 lessons, problem sets finished. Hope it's going well for you. Um, we're almost halfway through, 10 more lessons, and we'll be halfway done. Crazy, isn't it? All right, let's look. This time, I want you to open your book up and look at the very top of page 265. So pause it, and then go to page 265, and let's look at this. Okay, I'm assuming you've paused it. You're looking. They're asking what decimal number is represented by the point Y on this number line. Well, if you look at the number line, number lines don't have, just have to be, like we said before, just integers, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They can be chunks of numbers, fractions of numbers as well. Now, if you look between 7 and 8 and count, you'll see that it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So each one of those little tick marks between the 7 and the 8 is one-tenth of an inch or whatever you want to call it, uh, it is. So the, on the Y, you, if you go over one, two, three, four, that's going to be seven and four tenths or 7.4. And you'll see number lines with this kind of thing all the time. Don't get confused about it. It's the same thing as a number line. All you need to do is count between one integer and the next integer, like seven and eight. How many are there? And then you can count the number that they move over. And then that's how many over the amount. Like if there were seven tick marks between the seven and the eight, and there were, it was two over, you would say, oh, that's seven and two sevenths. Same kind of thing. Okay, all right. Um, let's divide by fractions. There are a couple of ways you can divide by fractions. The, the question in your book is basically how many quarters are in $3? And the, the method that they use is you go, well, okay, a quarter is four part of the fourth part of a dollar, right? So number one, how many quarters are there in $1? And the answer to that is four. So really, they have two steps to this. They go, well, I'm, I'm going to divide... Uh, one fourth by one, um, excuse me, one by one fourth. In other words, there are four quarters in a dollar. Then they're not asking me how many quarters are in one dollar. They're asking me how many quarters there are in three dollars. Well, we already know there are four quarters in one dollar. In three dollars, there would be four times three or just 12. So that's another way of doing this if you want to. You can look at uh, problems this way. So let's say for this example, the diameter of a penny is three quarters of an inch, you know, from there to there. How many pennies are needed to make a row of pennies six inches long? So all you're doing, of course, is just going, okay, well, how many three-fourths of an inch are in six inches? So the question is this. It's what is six divided by three-fourths? Now, to me, you know how to divide fractions. You can, you know, if you go, uh, you know, a fraction divided by a fraction, you would just turn this into, you know, six over one. Now, if you divide a fraction by a fraction, you take that second one, and you flip it, right? Remember that? You flip the second one, and you go six times four is 24, one times three is three, 24 divided by three, because you know, every fraction is a division problem. Okay, that's gonna be eight. So there are eight pennies and six inches. Another way, if you want to do it this way, you don't have to. You can say, okay, how many three quarters are in six inches? We could just ask the same question we asked back here. Then instead of saying how many quarters are in three dollars, we're just going to go how many quarters are in one dollar, four, and then multiply that by three until we can get twelve. Same thing we could do here if you wanted to. You don't have to. So let's say how many three fourths are in one. In other words, what is one divided by three fourths? Well, we know it's a reciprocal, right? So the answer is there are four thirds of them in one inch. But we don't just have six, I mean, one inch. We have a row of pennies six inches long. So all we're gonna do is we go, okay, well, we figured out that's the amount of you know pennies that are gonna be in one inch. We want six inches, so we're just gonna multiply that by six. And you can do it as a fraction the same we, we did here. Now you notice this is exactly the same problem as this there. Four times six is 24 divided by three, eight. Boom, there you go. Okay, that's all there is to that. Okay, all right, try the practice set. That is on page 266 and 67. We'll do one at a time. So work, work on A, go ahead, pause and do A. Okay, A is point one, pause it and try B. B is point five, okay, pause it and try C. Point nine, of course, pause it and try D. 1.2, got it, these are knocking out. Okay, pause and try E. 1.6, pause it and try F. 1.8. All right, this will take a little bit longer. Pause it and try G. Okay, in other words, what they're saying is uh, 
to find a number of quarters in four dollars. Okay, in other words, this is the problem. Four divided by one fourth, right? Okay, so they're saying instead of going, oh, four divided by one fourth, just go, how many quarters are in one dollar? Well, let's go one divided by a fourth. And of course, the answer to that is four. There are four, like if you look at a pie, there are four fourths of a pie in a pie. So once we get this answer, four are in one dollar, then in four dollars, it would be four times four, which is 16, so the answer is gonna be 16. Okay, all right, pause it and try H. Okay, well, let's, the answer, of course, will be 32, all right? The 12 inches high, the thickness of each pad is 3 eighths of an inch. In other words, what you're saying is 12 divided by 3 eighths. Now, there are two ways to do this, don't forget. You could go, oh, I'm gonna wait. Now, how many 3 eighths are in one? Well, you tell me, how many 3 eighths of you know, thick pads fit in one inch? The answer is, you should immediately say, oh yeah, 8 thirds. So eight divided by three, two, almost three pads fit in one inch. So the answer to one of these inches is 8 thirds, but there aren't just one inch. There's 12 of them. So you're gonna have to take 12 and you're gonna to have to maybe put it over one and multiply by eight over three. Now you can do this across and then divide or you can knock this out 12 over three. That's gonna be four, go three, three's going to 12 and just one there. So across four times eight, 32, there's your answer. Boom, you got it, okay. Hey guys, listen, 50 today, 50. That's a great milestone, okay? You are knocking this out and stuff good. If you're getting you know, 75, 80% of these problem set problems right, good, maybe aim for a couple more if you can. Take 15 extra seconds and really try to get it right. Knock out the ones you're having trouble with and uh, you know, just do the best you can and uh, keep at it. Doing a great job and uh, less than 50 will be done today, only 70 more to go. So have a great day. See you guys next time, have a great week.